Hi, my name is Rachel Moss and this is my English 1302 um, video summary. Um, I'm doing this over the one act play Trifles. Trifles is a one act play by Susan Glassbell, written in the early 1900s during the women's suffrage era. It's a story about a woman who killed her husband. Um, it's also a story about the relationships of men and women. There were several strong symbols used in this play. When the attorney, sheriff, and the two women were at the house for the investigation, they noticed that all of the preserves in the kitchen were broken as a result of the cold condition of the house. The preserves symbolize fruitfulness, youth, and sweetness. When fruit is preserved, it is meant to be kept in a sweet condition indefinitely. But in this case, the coldness of the kitchen busted the glass and the preserves were ruined. Miss Wright was said to be known around town before marrying Mr. Wright. The preserves are a symbol of her being kept in that condition. The coldness that busted the preserve jars are a symbol of the cold in the relationship that Miss Wright lived in that eventually brought her to a breaking point. The glass that housed the preserves is a symbol of Miss Wright as well. Glass is strong. Under most conditions, the fact that it was broken by the cold and not by dropping symbolizes how Miss Wright was broken. Usually you think of glass being broken by dropping it. That, that is the most obvious way glass is broken. Another symbol used in trifles was the quilt. As the women found the quilt, they, they questioned whether Miss Wright had planned on quilting it or knotting it to finish it off. Uh, the men dismissed this this is mere women's talk or, or concerns, uh, the men's view of many things as they were trifles. In other words, they, they're just silly things that only women should concern themselves about. Um, a quilt, however, is pretty important, especially during the, pe the period this play was set in. Sleeping without a quilt would leave any person cold, even a man. Um, the men may have dismissed the women's talk about the quilt, but they would certainly miss the, work, the same work if the women were to quit doing it. The men in the story's viewpoint of the women and the quilt reflects the viewpoint of the men in society, and, and that time especially considering this play was set during the women's suffrage movement. Many men did not consider women capable of thinking about politics and did not see the point of giving them the right to vote. They felt that women were only capable of worrying about trifles. An additional symbol in trifles is the fact that the, that the caged bird, more on that later, was found in a woman's sewing basket. The dead caged songbird turns into a major piece of evidence that could, could provide a motive for the murder of Mr. Wright. The men did not find it because they only looked in the places that were important to men, the bedroom and the barn. They couldn't fathom finding anything in important places that were important to women, such as the kitchen. Discounting anything of importance will essentially set Miss Wright free. The men's inability to see the value in the woman's work that holds conclusive evidence also pr proves the point that the women were capable of smart things, even if men didn't realize it. Finally, the dead caged song songbird is a symbol in several ways. The caged songbird symbolizes the spirit of Miss Wright. She was once free and would walk around town dressed in her best outfit, singing and being merry. The bird being kept in locked cage shows how trapped she really was in her marriage and that she wanted her freedom but couldn't get it. The cage resembles Mr. Wright and the oppression of the relationship. The fact that he strangled the bird shows that he was very controlling and wanted her all to himself. This also proves to be the evidence that she killed him. She did to him what he did to her bird. In conclusion, she did it, she killed him. Everyone has a breaking point. I'm not sure what the final straw was, but it made her snap. In the end, the women in this story band together to protect one of their own. I think they may have felt a little remorseful because they hadn't checked on her prior to this point. Uh, so they left they felt an obligation to protect her and not tell the sheriff what they had done.